Hey friends, welcome to my tree house. While I'm showing you around the tree house, I wanna let you know that this Wednesday is Earth Day, a day we celebrate the planet God made for us. Psalm 24, one says, the earth is the Lord's and everything in it, the world and all who live in it. Whenever somebody lets me borrow something, I'm very careful with it. And that's how I think of the earth. God's letting me borrow it. So I wanna take good care of it. Our story today is about a man who does something very creative to help the earth. So much fun to have you in my tree house with me. Our book today is The Ten Forest by Helen Ward and Wayne Anderson. It's one of my favorites. The Ten Forest by Helen Ward and Wayne Anderson. There was once a wide and windswept place near nowhere and close to forgotten, that was filled with all the things that no one wanted. Right in the middle was a small house with small windows that looked out on other people's garbage and bad weather. In the house lived an old man. Every day he tried to clear away the garbage sifting and sorting, burning and burying. And every night, the old man dreamed. He dreamed he lived in a forest full of wild animals. There were colorful birds, tropical trees, exotic flowers, toucans, tree frogs, and tigers. But when he awoke, the world outside was still the same. One day, something caught the old man's eye, and an idea planted itself in his mind. The idea grew roots and sprouted. Feeding on the garbage, it grew leaves, it grew branches, it grew bigger and bigger. Under the old man's hand, a forest emerged. A forest made of garbage, a forest made of tin. It was not the forest of his dreams, but it was a forest just the same. Then one day, across the barren plain, the wind swept a small bird. The old man spilled crumbs from his sandwich onto the ground. The bird ate the crumbs and perched to sing in the branches of a tin tree. But the next morning, the visitor was gone. All day, the old man walked through the silence, and his heart ached with emptiness. That night, by moonlight, he made a wish. In the morning, the old man woke to the sound of birdsong. The visitor had returned, and his mate had come with him. The birds carried seeds in their beaks, they dropped them to the dry ground. Green shoots broke through the earth. Soon the song of birds mingled with the buzzing of insects and the rustle of leaves. Time passed. Small creatures appeared, creeping among the forest of trees. Wild animals slipped through the green shadows. There once was a forest near nowhere and close to forgotten that was filled with all the things that everyone wanted. Right in the middle was a small house with small windows and in the house lived an old man who never stopped dreaming. 
friends, you know I always ask you, why do you think I have tears in my eyes because of this story? So why don't you and your mom or your dad or your brother or your sister talk about that? There could be a lot of reasons. And now it's time to have some Earth Day fun. On Earth Day, we remind ourselves to reduce, reuse, and recycle. So today's craft is about reusing our empty boxes. First, I did a sculpture, an architectural sculpture. And then I asked Coleman, my big guy, to help me make a track for cars. So we folded and cut and taped all of these materials together and had to create towers to support them and try to figure out the angles. It was actually really fun. I was glad I had help though because it was kind of tricky. Finally, we got it all put together with a few extra bells and whistles so that our cars could go from the top to the bottom. Take a look. Good. There they go. So, if you make a sculpture, or a dollhouse, or a racetrack, whatever you decide to do with your reused boxes, I hope you have a really happy Earth Day. I'll see you next week.